You know, many Christians fight hard against the LGBTQ community. But Christians, do you realize that you exhibit one of the traits that I cannot stand about the LGBTQ community? And you Christians act exactly like them. Y'all are partnership in that. Now, I don't really care if you um, are a member of the LGBTQ community. I have some, <laughs> I'm going to sound like a racist now. I have some in my family. And I love them dearly. But here's the thing. When the LGBTQ community are fighting for civil privileges, because they're not rights, because they can be taken away at any time. When they fight for civil privileges, when they fight for a uh, fight against prejudice, I'm, I'm with you. Everybody should have the opportunity of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Where I begin to draw lines is when it comes to forcing the indoctrination of your belief on other people and having the mindset where if I don't agree with you, then the problem is with me. And this is where Christians align with the LGBTQ community especially those right-wing Christians, Christians. You see, when you Christians are walking around and if someone is mistreating you because of your religion, I'm down, with, I'm down for you. You should not be judged based on your religion. You should not be disallowed from having a job or going into places or um, the civil privileges because you are a Christian. But then when you try to force your religion on me, that is where I begin to draw my lines. See, here's the thing. If a person is born LGBTQ or they decide to be LGBTQ, my opinion of that should not matter to that community because my opinion of that does not affect you in your daily life whatsoever. Now, if I decide that I'm going to be the wind blew my phone. If I decide that I'm going to be uh, prejudiced, prejudiced towards you because of that, that is a problem. If I'm going to stop you from being able to vote or stop you from being able to marry, that's a problem. Stop you being able to do, have benefits um, like insurance and stuff with each other, that's a problem. But in all other counts of your daily life, my opinion of your belief in being born that way versus choosing that shouldn't matter to you at all if i came on here and i said that i believe that everybody who is lgbtq uh, made a decision to be that or were persuaded to be that and that they weren't naturally born that way you shouldn't get mad because i don't agree with you you should just say okay that's your opinion go on with your life because guess what my opinion doesn't affect whether or not you're going to be in that community if you who you're going to love who you're going to spend your life with my opinion doesn't matter so christians my opinion of whether or not your God of your book is real or not shouldn't matter to you. Whether Jesus was real or not shouldn't matter. Whether the Trinity is real or not shouldn't matter. Whether Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all these people ever existed shouldn't matter. Whether the Noah's flood ever happened, it shouldn't matter to you if I believe in it or not. But because according to your book, there are those who are not going to agree with you. And those people's names will not be found in the book of life. And those people will suffer for all eternity in the lake of fire. So whether or not I believe in it shouldn't matter. I've made my own decision. I've made my own choice. I have my own thoughts on it. I back those up with whatever information I decide that I'm going to accept. You believe it, that's up to you. At the end of the day, if your book is true and you go and revelations happen and it's the end times and all that shit happens, you go to heaven, right? I go to the pit of fire. While you're in heaven, there are no tears. There is no sadness. There is only joy. So you shouldn't have any problems with me being in the lake of fire. That's my own personal problem that I just have to deal with at that time frame. You should just be up there praising your God day and night, even though there is no night. As I explained in my previous video yesterday, there is no night. But you wouldn't have a care in the world because your God has made you to an un non-sympathetic non automaton who is just accepting and believing that you have made it to glory.
you get to praise this God day and night. I know Irenaeus told y'all that one of the joys of heaven is to look over the edge of heaven and to see those people like myself just burning and being tortured. And you're happy with it. And you're fine with it. My grandmother who loved me will be fine with that. You shouldn't have a problem with it. So the fact that I don't agree with you, the fact that I disagree with you or anybody else should not cause you to become upset, to get triggered, to all of a sudden spew out all the hatred to which you spew out. Because what I have received from the ones who do speak up is 99% anger and frustration and, and hatred. It is not the love to which you declare. The overwhelming majority of Christians who listen to my videos, guess what they do? They don't say a damn thing. You know why? Because just like me with the LGBTQ community, they don't give two rat's asses about my opinion. And they just go on and live their life. Maybe some of y'all other ones should try that. What do you think? Comment, subscribe to the channel, share the video. And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.